Hi guys, Anxiety here. Uh, before the video starts, I would like to actually give a shout out to one of our Patreons, Pelican Haddock. Uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Members like you keep the pack running strong. And uh, with that, on to the video. Hello guys, my name is Tyler, I go by Anxiety or Anxiety Disorder Online, and today I wanted to do a thing where I just kind of played a, um, or I, I played this game and I really wish I would have recorded it because I was on point this game, um, and I just wanted to kind of talk about it, go over what I did and stuff like that. So, the first thing is first is I'm playing Cinna here, um, uh, and I'm doing a pro build, and I'm support. Um, Cinna actually recently got a bunch of, um, what are they called, uh, nerfs, and she's not super great, but she's okay. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, currently, all I'm doing right now is just kind of preparing for, um, wow, we, me and Jin could have had a fight, and I would have lost that fight if you would have just done something else but I wanted to get a deep ward for uh, to see when their the champions gonna gank our blue buff uh, I will be supporting an ash today and honestly it felt like I was babysitting some of these people like the Trindlemire and the mid were fine but Warwick and um, ash it felt like I was babysitting a little bit not too much you'll see why in a minute um, and we're gonna be against a Jin Velkaz lane which is actually a pretty neat lane um, I, I gave them a pretty big leash, and he gets a massive leash. Ash even gets to steal some of his XP, which is kind of sad for uh, Warwick. But, you know, Velkaz is also just pushing his lane. Jin's AFK for some reason, so we get a little bit of early harass on the Velkaz, which is fun. I mean, he wins the in initial trick. Oh my god, fucking camera. How can I... Why can we want to follow Sinna, me, the whole time? So... Basically, what I'm doing is just what Sinna support supposed to do. Uh, if I look at if I look at items, yeah, here, items right here. Uh, I went with the basic Sinna support uh, with the uh, sickle. I hate hate that it keeps doing that. The support sickle and two pots. Um, in my mastery, I also get. Um, in my mastery, you also get uh, what are they called? Follow the Cinna. That's all I want. No, not dynamic camera. Just follow Cinna. There, fuck. So, um, basically. Uh, I, in my masteries, I get the, the good old uh, biscuit that, you know, generates. Uh, here we almost lose, but they do bait out my flash, which, if their jungler was on top of it, would have meant that we would have, they would have gotten a free kill early. Um, but right now, Ash is just farming. I'm trying to uh, keep Ash alive while still making money, and that's kind of hard. Ari goes down mid, and that's first blood, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, just trying to get some harass it. And we do get a good chunk of harassment right there, but there's no, like, and I was afraid that the gen was there because he just kind of fucked off, but he backed. And we could have actually went for that kit and gotten a free kill there, but we did not. But we did push him out of lane, which meant now they're staggered. Um, now Velkaz has to go back, and so does... Uh, um, Jen, or and Jen's coming back now, so they're they're actually staggered. So we're gonna have the advantage, um, like numbers advantage, but this Ash just kind of sits still and and waits for minions, which isn't a bad strategy to learn how to last hit. But a lot of the times I was like, oh, is are are you gonna miss that? Are you gonna miss that? Should I take it? Should I take it? Kind of things. I do get another. Uh, stun on uh, Jin, but there was no way I was getting that one. I really wanted the spirits and stuff like that, and now we're just 
trying to, you know, back up since Belkaz is here, and they actually do have a lot of really, really synergistic poke, and how did that miss? That I, I didn't see that, obviously, in the game. I, because, you know, you can't see in the bushes, unless you have a ward or whatever, but I didn't see that, and, you know, I, I spot Warwick's down bot, too, but I don't think he's going for a gank or anything. If he was, it would be pretty helpful, but, and, uh, we... Ash's flash go or uh, not flash heal goes out. I didn't see the minion there, or that would have been actually a really good route on uh, Jin, which would have been good for us. I'm just trying to corral. Yeah, there's no way I c we can uh, answer that, and they get the first dragon because of this kill. Um, yeah, Jin and uh, Yi line up on the Worgen or on uh, Warwick, and then um, Velka is just body blocks me so that that's a dragon for them which is okay I mean it's not okay it means the first dragon goes to them and that could have been bad but uh, we, all we can do is just farm and you know hope that we get better or we can farm and just you know hopefully that's it and as you can see my biscuits there I have one minion I have killed a single minion. Now that now we have Yi in our lane as well, and they really don't know. Or and we even actually like they get really get desperate and greedy for like an actual free kill. And honestly, Ash almost feeds them one. Like it could have been worse. Uh, Vel what really should be happening is what Warwick's doing right now, and he's actually rotating bottom, and he's getting a. He's getting, you know, obvious, and I, and I'm like, come on, Warwick, come on, let's go, come on, babysit, and I was like, we win this, come on, Warwick even backs out because he thinks he gets further enough away, but I hit the snare, I'm fine, I know I can heal, and I take the kill from him because I was like, I literally did all the work, all you did was a little bit of damage, my kill, <laughs> so, you know, I was like, we got this, guys, and Ash was sitting there just AF, or not AFK, but trying to last hit minions, and this is like the safest back ever, because we've killed we've killed Jin. The only thing that could have been better is if Ash stayed and I we both pushed up the lane, because then the lane would have you know, if we would have stayed pushed this lane into this tower, these guys would not be here until after they lost this canyon min, canyon minion wave, which is very important. Mid lane, uh, Ari's actually having a hard time with Zed, but that'll change. And these guys are just slugging it out how they normally do. Uh, crap. That's Ari. That's Ash. That's me. Okay. Uh, I didn't buy boots on my first back. On the first back, I got a uh, uh, serrated dirk, two potions, and a control ward. Um, I don't need to buy boots because they're in my, uh, what is it called? They're in my, yeah, Ash is getting poked out here, and I was like, well, I'm just going to try to ward. But, uh, they're in my, uh, masteries, so there's no reason to get boots. And all I'm doing is just trying to give us vision so that the Velkaz poke is kind of reduced. Uh, a pretty good kill on Yi top lane shows up. Uh, with Warwick, meaning that, you know, basically they're even. Uh, Velkaz is getting low. Ash flashes for some reason. Um, I also got ignited somewhere in there. <laughs> Don't know why, but I did. Um, and I thought the Velkaz had, was hanging out in that bush that I threw my, uh, crap, what is it? QW, my W. And because, uh, I was afraid that he uh, he was trying for more poke, but he actually backs, which again staggers them, which means we have the numbers advantage. So Jen has to just completely back off and give up all the uh, XP that he had, or the XP advantage he had. And now I'm watching up top because I was trying to find a place to help either, or watching the lanes, and I was trying to find a place to do that. And I fired it way too late, way, 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 way too late. Like, I was hoping that I could um, help him out because I saw that they were ganking him, but it was just too late. Get free damage on Velkaz, a lot of free damage, in fact, and Jin actually backs, 
here. And uh, Zed tries a gank here. I think he might get the ash. I don't remember. He might get the ash from this. But it, it doesn't matter. I, I'm like, we're fine. <laughs> and then we even get a TP. And all I do is just, like, threaten the... He thinks he's big and bad and scary, but he is not, actually. <laughs> because he's killing an Ari, who's bad late game. And I'm like... And here I'm trying to ping and tell Ari, we're, we're, we can kill this Vel'Koz, but she had already backed off so far. And now Jin's there, so we need to just get out. Yeah, we even spot the Jin. And I was like, here, take, take that. And Ari's like, nope, I'm out. And I was like, but... Okay, <laughs> and now, now I get some free minions because Ash isn't here, to, so she's gonna miss them. So I'm just gonna get the free stuff that I can. And honestly, actually, I'm very confident I can fight this Jin. I'm two levels over him, uh, and at this point, he only has a BF sword, and I, I'm not really much better off, but <laughs> I'm fine, and I'm like confident, but. Uh, they start pinging for dragon here and I'm like yeah that would be a good idea so I put a deep ward and I also see the blues up and I'm like wow uh, he's too busy top lane so we're gonna get a free dragon sorry Trindlemeyer but Trindlemeyer actually puts up a pretty good fight bottom kill walk off and now we're gonna go and, and I was like please help and they just both fuck off top, and I'm like, Ash is actually getting killed right now. We need help. Take another kill from Ash. Body block for her. Jin cancels his ult for some reason. I heal her, and I'm like, please go back. Please. Please. Jin tries to sneakily get something, but I throw a blind uh, W trying to threaten him off. And I'm like, Ash, please go back. You're going to die. Please. Go away. <laughs> But she refuses. I keep healing her, and she's like, oh, I'm going back in. I'm like, just, no, I'm trying to get you out of my lane. Or, this is actually my lane at this point, <laughs> I should say. I have two of our, or, I have two out of three of our bot lane kills. This is my lane. I'm also, I think, the highest level in the lane. Yeah, Jin's just, yeah, Jin's seven. I've been seven for a while. So, this is my lane at this point. Or at least I have decided it is. I still I still another minion because <laughs> because of course I do. And then this is where uh, Ash dies because she refuses to go back. And now I have to face Jin and Vel'Koz and that's a fun little tidbit if you didn't know. Uh Senna's Q literally can target anything. Anything. And it she'll fire it on top of that. And it counts as a basic, or a, an auto attack, so anything like, you know, a gin trap or anything like that, turrets, inhibitors, the nexus, you can actually just fire your uh, Q off of that. Velka is desperately trying to hit me here, but uh, not really working. Uh, Everyone seems top map, and Warwick actually picks up some good kills. I noticed that Warwick picked up the gin, and I was like, oh, oh. And I start looking over there, and I'm like, nice. I even let him know, nice. I, I would have healed him if I had the mana. But I did not. Did not have mana. And uh, my ult's down for another... Or actually, my ult's up. So I actually am starting to look for... Uh, look for um, plays where I can give people my ult if they need it which I should have done right here because I, I believe he's kind of screwed now uh, on my first back I get the uh, I forget his name uh, this item the umbral glaive because it's a very good uh, support Senna item it it gives you free wards essentially because you spot wards you can blow you can kill them and it makes zombie wards which is good um, and then also it gives lethality and damage, which is something else you want. I return just in time to see, uh, and I get a free kill on Vel'Koz. <laughs> free kill, equal. And then also I notice top, and you'll see, boom! Free, a free, uh, Yi kill, which probably actually shuts down their dive up top, because, uh, he was, uh, they were definitely going to dive Trindlemeyer because it was three top 
And at that point, I was like, yeah, I, it's time for me to just set up some vision. I need vision of their, you know, locations and things like that. But I start going back bot because I saw Ash was trying to back and Jen's there, so I need a helper again. But yeah, I pick up a free that puts me at th four four kills, zero deaths, two assists, as you do, as you do, and it's a supportal combat right now. And then Jen pops up, and I'm like, well, okay, numbers advantage, I'm fucked. But I, I feel like I'm okay. Uh, I do have Warwick, so if I could get him low is kind of what I was going for. Get some sneaky sneaky free damage on and money on Jin. Um, but I'm basically trying to just get him low enough that Warwick might be interested in coming to help. Do get a stun on Velkaz, and I was like, if a uh, wow and Ash hit that arrow, I didn't notice that she hit that arrow. And basically we just win this and I take another kill. So, I get 5-0-3. Oh, Ash did great there. That was an amazing combination that we had there. Of a stun, he flashed, got it, and because of that flash, we guaranteed the Ash arrow. That was really, really good. Uh, Ribbon tries to come in and help, but I don't think it does much. Like, who cares? It's Ribbon. Like, yes, I, I completely with my W, but she is not at all prepared for it and then after that so here comes Mr. Zed and I'm like no I'm going to body block for Ash and I can't and I'm not going to die from this I knew I had Warwick coming in and I knew I had friends coming in so it was just a free a free uh what is the word I'm looking for words are hard Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, basically, I knew I wasn't going to die there, and I knew that we were going to be safe enough to actually fight that. Uh, sadly, we do lose because Ash stays, and then Warwick gets caught out, I think, is what happens. Um, and here, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm deciding what I'm supposed to be buying next. I buy boots, or I, I finish by boots, and then start working towards Lord Dominic's which is a very common thing while bot lane is losing their tap or losing bot power which is fine it's okay it's kind of we're starting to transition past the uh transition past this and they actually do get some good you know what's the word i'm looking for uh oh, god damn it i keep doing that i don't want my mouse on the screen is the thing um, they do, uh, I start looking for assistance other place or like places to help other champs, so I don't know what he was thinking there. I, I came in to help. S tried to steal the kill with the ult, actually. <laughs> Trying to get that S, you know, on Cinna. Start developing more, uh, we see the gen walking up a uh, bot, and I immediately go over there to try to like threaten him but we don't but we do catch this Velkaz and he is fucked and basically now Ari is actually finally getting to play the game which is something that she wasn't doing beforehand um so you know we're just trying to push down mid but they end up conceding here I believe soon yeah soonish it's like I think um, we get this tower down and I think we win one more fight and then they uh, concede because you can't fight Trindlemire now he's massive with seven two and two and he's got one of his items finished and honestly me and Ari both are kind of wrecking the mid lane <laughs> as Velkaz dies again. Oh, they they can kill the Trindlemire if Trindlemire, Trindemir, but I like calling him Trindlemire. Thanks, Uncle Spankin, for that. Um, if they gang up on him, and <laughs> Warwick just gets a free kill on Jin, so this is looking pretty grim for them. They end up just giving it up soon. 
Trindamir actually goes back and buys a full Infinity Edge. Full Infinity Edge on his fur on his, on that back or on that death. And that's when the game ends. They agree at a five five zero concede. And uh yeah, that was that was just the game. Um look out, OBS. My OBS is showing. And uh ooh. Yeah. So the game's graph ended up like this, Trindamir doing so much damage, and then me doing more damage than anyone else on my team, and I'm the support. And then I even did more damage than their Yi, Velkaz, Riven, and Jin. The only thing that beat me in damage was Zed, and, you know, he's supposed to. Uh, Stat-wise, I ended the game at, uh, where, yeah, scoreboard, here we go. Stat-wise, stat I ended the game at 5-0-8. I got a total of 9 minions, 6,952 gold. <laughs> I did not die once, and I only get a minus, an S minus. I'm grumpy about that. Uh, we ended up with two dragons, two towers. They only had one dragon and one tower. Um, overall, the game was pretty good. I feel like it could have been better if I didn't have to hold some champion's hand early game, but it's okay. Um, Anyways, guys, that's just me kind of wanting to show this game off because I felt really proud that I did such a thing. And uh, hopefully, if you guys want to actually see me, uh, and here's a fun little overview graph too, uh, they were easily winning the first game with a uh, with their first kill on Ari, and then a three or two kills and a tower or and a dragon over our Riven kill, and then I picked a, a Jin kill, Ari drops again, and that was when our gold deficit was the biggest, and then suddenly we start going back with a Riven death and a, and a Yi death, then, then all three of them bot lane die for only two, which is not so good for them, and then I pick up a Velkaz kill, um, Warwick gets a dragon as well, I believe, and uh, Yi kills, or dies to whatever. And then Warwick picks up a double kill, which is pretty great. I pick up a double kill, and from there we just start skyrocketing because there, there, there was just no coming back. <laughs> I love this, this little graph, though. One kill here, one kill here, one kill here, and then a kill all the way over here, and I never entered top lane. <laughs> Warwick's probably all, yeah, Warwick's all over the place. Uh, Ashes were all down here. Um, <laughs> Trindlemire, of course, all the way up here. There's no reason for him to ever leave lane. And then Ari here. Jin picked up a single kill, really? I, di I didn't notice that. Jin only has one kill. Oof. Poor guy. Anyways, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you guys would like to see more League of Legends things, uh, let me know. And um, I'll do my best to uh, try to, you know, give you what you want. I play a decent amount of League. I lose a lot of games, though, as you can see here. But uh, not all games. <laughs> but I lose a good chunk of them. But I do like to play them. So if you don't, if you don't mind, uh, like, subscribe, go over to uh, pause screen um, and like and subscribe there if you want to see, you know, not this kind of type of content, but you want to see me and my partner play other games that are more fun and don't, and don't make you want to hate yourself. Uh, also go to Grinding Coffee Co's. Uh, and use the promo code um, pause screen, all caps, pause screen, like cute little dog paws, uh, and then the word screen, uh, all caps, in the promo codes, uh, you will actually get 15, I believe, 15% off, and uh, the proceeds of that will also go towards charities and us, and like will help us support, or will support us, and things like that, which are things we really need right now. Anyways, guys, I showed you my OBS again because I'm ready to end the video, but I'm rambling. Uh, anyways, thanks again for watching.
goodbye. Hey guys, Connor the Wolf here. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons. Additionally, you can follow us on Twitter or support us on Patreon. And if you're in the mood for more content, you can check out Anxiety's channel, see what he's up to when he's not on pause screen. All links will be in the description. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Stay awesome, guys.